Right, here's another type of problem you may run into when you're dealing with linear equations and two variables. Find the equation given two points. So what they've done now is they say, OK, let's say you're given two points. Let's find these two particular points, x equals negative 1, y equals 2. There we go. There is negative 1, 2. The other point, x equals 2, y equals 5. So x equals 2. Y equals 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where does 2 meet? Right there. There's the point 2, 5. So what they've given is they've given two points. If you connect those two points with a line, there's the line. Oop, not a very straight line. There we go. A little bit better. There's the line. They want you to find the equation of that line. That means you have to find the slope and the point where it crosses the y-axis, the intercept. So the first thing you want to do is say, OK, I need the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. And so the only thing I need to do to find the equation, no matter what they give you, is to find the intercept, oops, sorry, the slope, and the intercept. So first of all, since we're given two points, we want to find the slope first. And remember back, to, ah, the definition of slope is simply the rise over the run, change in y over change in x. I remember how to do that. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's a good idea to label the points. If this is my first point, this is x1 and y1. This is x2 and y2. So y2 is 5 minus y1, which is 2, divided by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is a minus 1. Be careful, subtract the negative. You want to put parentheses around it. So this is equal to 3 divided by 2 minus a minus 1. Subtract the negative number. It's like adding a positive number. So this is also 3, which is 1. So my slope is 1. So now I can plug that into my equation and write y equals 1x plus b. I don't really need to write the 1. I can simply write y equals x plus b. But just to illustrate what I just did, I put it in there. Next thing is to find the intercept. And again, what you need to do is you need to take a point. You're given two. You can plug in either one of these into your y and x in your equation. So let's take the first point. The x goes in here. The y goes in there. Let's substitute those with those two numbers. So we end up at 2 equals 1 times negative 1 plus b. So 2 equals negative 1 plus b. Moving the negative 1 over the other side, I get 2 plus 1 equals b, or 3 equals b. I can then plug that back into my equation over here. And finally, I can say y equals x plus 3. And that's the equation of the line that I'm looking for. So here's one added difficulty. You weren't given the slope. You had to first find the slope using the two points. Once you find the slope, you plug it into your equation. Then you find the intercept, just like we did before, by plugging in the x and y value of one point into the x and y in your equation to solve for the intercept. Now, we could have taken the 2 and the 5 and plugged it in. You get the exact same answer. It doesn't matter which point you use. Just typically take the point with the smallest numbers, which is generally easier. All right, let's do a couple more examples to solidify this concept. So let's say you're given these two points, negative 3, 2, and 4 and 1. And they tell you, find the equation of the line connecting those two points. So you realize, ah, it should look in the form y equals mx plus b, which means I have to find my slope and my intercept. First thing you're going to do is find your slope. And the definition of the slope, slope is equal to the rise over the run, which is equal to the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. And I'm saying x's and writing y's. Don't want to do that. All right, so plug in the numbers. Well, before we do that, let's label them x1, y1, x2, y2. It's a good idea to always do that so you don't make a mistake. All right, now let's plug these numbers in. y2, 
1 minus y1, which is 2, divided by x2, which is a 4, minus x1, which is a minus 3. Okay, use parentheses when you subtract negative numbers. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 4 minus a minus 3 is like 4 plus 3 or 7. So my slope is negative 1 over 7. I can plug that into my equation and write y equals negative 1 over 7x plus b. We're halfway there. The next thing we need to find is my intercept. Again, to do that, I'm going to take one of my two points, plug in the x and the y value in your x and your y in your equation. So let's do this and let's do that. So y becomes 2 equals negative 1 over 7 times x. x in this point is negative 3 plus b. So we have 2 equals a negative times a negative is a positive 3 over 7 plus b. Moving the 3 over 7 across, we get 2 minus 3 over 7 equals b. We probably don't want to leave it like that. We want to simplify a little bit more. So we can write 2 as 14 over 7, because I want to have a common denominator. So this is 14 over 7 minus 3 over 7 equals b. And if you're not quite sure what I just did, remember if you divide 14 by 7, you get 2 again. I just want to make sure I have the same common denominator. Now I can subtract the numerators. So this gives me 11 over 7 equals b. And this I'm now going to plug back into my equation over here. And finally, my answer is y equals minus 1 over 7x plus 11 over 7. And there's my equation. So here's the equation for a line going through those two points.